Hi, everybody. Eric Richards here, President and CEO of Cancer Support Community Central Indiana. Welcome to Eric's Interviews 25th Anniversary Edition. I'm here uh, with some great, incredible guests today, Lisa and Matt Peck, who are going to share their story with you. Um, Lisa, Matt, welcome to Eric's Interviews. Hi, Eric. Thank you. Great to great, see you. Great to see you. It's been it's been a few months since we've seen each other. Yes, sir. Uh, unfortunately, uh, so it's great to see your get, great to see your faces. Um, and, and in in the normal Eric's interview style, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What what do people need to know about you? Sure. Well, I'm Lisa Peck, and this is my husband Matt Peck of 36 years. We just celebrated our anniversary in June, uh, wedding anniversary, and um, we came to Cancer Support Community because back in 2009, uh, Matt had a grand mal seizure and was diagnosed with brain cancer, and um, that is how we got connected with Cancer Support Community. I at first reached out to some national locations. But at one of our doctor visits, we saw some literature and information about the cancer support community and how it was a free resource for not just the cancer patient, but for everybody in the family that's connected um, going through this cancer diagnosis. Okay, tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, uh, the, the, what went through your head when you learned, uh, uh, Matt, for you personally, and then Elisa, for you, what went through your head when, when Matt was was diagnosed when you heard those words, you have cancer. What went through your head? I was gobsmacked. I, cancer is just, actually, um, when I presented with the seizures, I, uh, I was so disoriented and I, I refused to believe that I was in a hospital and I was fearful I was going to be late for work. <laughs> and I had to be sure. reasserted by three people that, listen, you know, something's really wrong. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but it's been a, been an interesting ride. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I would, uh, would recommend leaning on the CSC, uh, for if you are facing these trials. So. Yeah, I, I can echo what he said. It, it was just a very, um, unpredictable time, Eric. It was very scary. This was a man that never missed a day of work, um, always faithful to get the job done and worked multiple jobs at times. And, um, our lives just changed overnight um, when we found out that he had brain cancer and we had to make a quick decision to move him. He had surgery in January of 09. Very thankful for wonderful doctors that were able to remove the brain tumor. And um, we had two, he had two of the Colts doctors working on him. So we felt very blessed in that way. Wow. But this was also new and so scary that um, we realized we might need some outside resources. We might need some help with this because we're kind of treading unknown waters. And um, for myself, I know, and for the boys, it was just very scary, not knowing what was going to happen to Matt. Um, as I mentioned, the boys were, what, 10 and 7 when this happened. And so we still had a family to raise. And I, I in my heart, I was wondering, is he going to make it? Is this, is this going to be something I'm going to have to do alone? So um, the cancer support community became a, an instrumental part of our process of of going through the cancer. Thank you, thank you both for sharing. And um, I, I can't I can't imagine you were sharing a, a picture of your boys um, <laughs> from before, and you said they were seven and ten, I think, uh, yeah. when, when and you walked through our front doors. Uh, can you hold up that picture and show <laughs> show these men now? I, yeah. um, you who I know see. you're so you're so proud of uh, that that's fantastic yes very um, proud of our sons Lake and Landon yep they came to the kids club um when all this was going on so now they're 23 and 22 and my oldest is married but um that was a wonderful resource for the boys my oldest in particular was struggling um with just figuring out this diagnosis of dad being sick with cancer and he point blank asked me one day does everybody get brain cancer? And I realized that he was seeking help. He needed some resources as well. Um, and the kids club was a great source for him to just kind of decompress. He could talk about his feelings. He could share uh, what he was going through at home, but he could also just break away and have fun and um, be with other kids who had parents or grandparents that were very ill with cancer also. <coughs> And that, that was a huge encouragement to him. So 
Yeah, and, that, and that's what we pride ourselves on is it's, it's we obviously know that um, we need to support patients who are, who are and survivors who are um, walking through our front doors, but it, it impacts uh, yes. the family as well. And so our kids mm -hmm. program, and I think you participated in our friends and family caregiver program, right? Tell us a little bit about that and your experience with that. Yes. So when I found Cancer Support Community, I would say his diagnosis was in 09, but in 2010, we became active members. Um, myself, probably the most active. I came weekly to the um, counseling sessions for caregivers, and oh, what a relief that was to me. And I feel like, Eric, it was no accident that when I came to Cancer Support Community, um, Laura Hayes, who is still with you, was my counselor there. And um, do you know there were two other ladies in this small group that we had whose husbands also had brain cancer? Now, oh. what is the chance of that? I mean, I was expecting, you know, and there's people with all different types of cancer, obviously, but that to me was just um, definitely showed me I was in the right place at the right time. And um, being able to just share, we've had a great support system through our church and our friends and family, but you know, Eric, until you are living through cancer and understand what that looks like and feels like on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, these people can be um, helpful, but they, they don't understand completely. So what a joy it was to sit and talk with people that are actually living and going through the very same thing that I'm going through. What advice would you would you both give others that are experiencing a similar uh, situation that, that that you did? And, and it doesn't have to be specific to cancer support community necessarily, but but some good good advice that you think uh, cancer patients, survivors, and families uh, you know could could benefit from. Sure. Well, a CSC um, the counselors there remind me a little bit of a, like a corner man for a boxer or an MMA fighter. Uh, you know, you're out there, you're slugging, you're taking the blows. And when you come back in between rounds, they're the person that's telling you, you're doing well here. This is what you want to watch out for. And, and it, you know, I guess that's the best analogy that I could give. They're very encouraging, very informative, supportive. Um, and I, we're grateful for them. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I echo that as well. Um, so many resources that we had. Um, the advice I would give is, is realize that you're not in this alone. Um, I, in fact, I have my bracelet on today, Eric, which you probably oh, yeah. remember this yellow bracelet. I have, a, I have a black one on that was supposed to be for uh, Laughing Matters 2020 that I've been wearing for a year and a half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And this one says, take on cancer together. And I wear this often, uh, along with the gray one, which is for the uh, brain cancer. So it kind of reminds me that, you know, I'm not in this alone. There are people there that care and that can help me and walk me through things. Um, many resources. I mean, from cooking to wellness, um, like I mentioned, the kids club, the counseling times, um, fond memories that we have of the Christmas parties we've gone to every year, and the survivor um, summit, which we always try to go to in the summertime, um, which is just a wonderful reminder that uh, Matt has come through cancer and beat it. And, and twice, I might add, I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but Matt did have his cancer return in 2013, had a second surgery, and then did um, intensive radiation and chemotherapy for about 13 months. Um, and so I sought out the cancer support community again during that time. That was a difficult road, but um, we got through it. And uh, here we are today. I'm just so thankful. Well, I was going to ask you, my next question was going to be, what do you want people to know about CSC? But I think you've done a masterful job <laughs> of, of both of you of, of answering that question. So this video series is really in celebration of 25 years, ensuring that no one faces cancer alone uh, in, in central Indiana. What do you wish for CSC's next 25 years and beyond? <laughs> that you guys would go out of business because it's gone. <laughs> Cancer has been eradicated. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't think that's likely, but that would be the best outcome. Right. So. I think anybody who's come through cancer hopes and prays for that, Eric, that, that one day there would be a cure and that we could, you know, do away with organizations like the cancer support community only because our lives are getting better. But in the meantime, our lives have gotten better 
through the help of cancer support community. And the fact that all of your services are free, so no matter what your social or economic status is, um, you can feel like you have open arms at the cancer support community. And um, never have I walked in the doors there that I didn't feel welcome. Um, if people didn't know my name uh, and they were a new intern or something, they'd come up and introduce themselves to me and um, just really felt at home at this place and always have felt that way. Well, th thank you both for the very kind words. You are uh, excellent ambassadors for our, our programs and services. Uh, and it's been fantastic talking with you uh, today. Thank you for sharing uh, your stories. Thank you for the courage. Uh, thank you for, for all, that, all that you do. Um, it's fantastic to see you. Uh, folks, this is another uh, edition of, of Eric's Interviews, the 25th anniversary edition. Thanks for tuning in today. We look forward to seeing you next time. It's our pleasure to speak to you, and it's easy to talk about something that you're passionate about, <laughs> and you guys have created a passion in us for the CSC, so thank you, Eric. Thank you. Wonderful to see you today. You as well. We'll see you soon, okay? Uh, sounds good. Take care. <laughs>